Hey there, everyone. It's Potter Brony, and welcome to another mind reaction of some LMP fan work. Uh, this time we have another Toll Legit recap from DWK. Uh, the Main Six, episode number 13 of season 8. Uh, yeah, I guess I skipped this one. I know I said I was going in the order in which he released them, but I guess I forgot this one for some reason. Uh, went from 8 to 7 or something it's like So, uh, yeah, all the same. Uh, as always, link in the description below. Be sure to support the official release. Be sure to support him over there at his channel. And let's get it started with this uh, with this video. In three, two, one, and go. All I need is a piece of the pony. Yeah, you always come down though. That's unfortunate. Well, guess who's back, back again. Now, those of you who've been around here for a while know how much I love Chrysalis and- Yes, I know. Yeah, well. We have been planning this for quite some time. Uh, what's going on here? Which means you will be able to use- Yeah, that was pretty adorable. Hey, I'll give you that. Hey, Dandy. Who, who are you talking to there? Why, coffee's rarity? Because Princess Twilight and her friends control the... She's elements. going a little crazy. Oh, you're uh, hanging up pictures of ponies and talking to them like they're actually there. Well, all, all I can say is welcome to the club. There's uh, <laughs> free drinks and group weeping sessions every Friday. Anyways, you might be able to surmise Buggy Boo's been going through a rough patch ever since she got glim glammed. She's been living out in the woods for God knows how many months and has reached that critical intersection of isolation, misanthropy, and psychological instability at which one of three things is bound That's a good to point. Why are green here? The first and most so obvious is suicide, which for most of us is the best solution because, as you know, when we die, we go to Equestria. I promise. The problem is yeah. Chrissy's already there and it doesn't. You don't got to sell me on it. Out, so that's a no go. The second option is taking responsibility for your fuck ups, accepting the fact that, in all likelihood, the majority of your misfortune is the result of your own poor character and laziness, and then trying to become a better person. But fuck that. So the third option is this. <laughs> Thank you, Applejack. Thank you, Applejack. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tulpas. Well, She's we'll made though. main yep. six Tulpas. Not only that, Chrissy's concocted some sort of unholy magic-fueled alchemy that can turn her imaginary friends into bootleg waifus. And she's like, all right, you dumb horse, listen up. We're going to find the elements of harmony and use their power to put you bitches into mass production. Seeing as Equestria's main export is waifus, flooding the market with cheap knockoffs will destabilize its entire economy, causing civil unrest, which Good I plan, will exploit Chrissy. by disguising myself as a pretty pony politician and pandering to the disenfranchised masses. I'll whip them into a fervor, lead a rebellion, topple the equestrian government, and seize power, then I can take away Starlight Glimmer's friends and ruin her life <sighs> just like she did to me. Why don't we just kill her? No, 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 listen, that's not how evil plots work. There's gotta be, like, machinations and subterfuge <laughs> and shit, and then a big reveal where you're like, haha, remember me? And they're like, no! Oh, and then you rule the world and get all the hugs. Uh, servants. I meant servants. Power and servants. <laughs> yeah. okay. I say we break her spine and make her watch while we kill her friends. What, what is wrong with you guys? Bitch, you tell me. Anyway, well, Chrissy's doing whatever I just said. Twiggles, <laughs> Glimmy, and the crew are traveling into the woods to find an excuse to be in the woods. Oh, evil Twiggles. He's like, I made it a schedule for the thing we're doing. But Dashie's all, schedules? I don't like those. I don't like loud noises. I do. Holy fuck. I like like stuff, but I didn't bring it. I don't like stuff, but I did. Come on, Starlight, now it's your turn. Can't we just assume everyone's watched the show? <laughs> Why do you always have to be such a contrarian pain in the cunt, Starlight? <laughs> Made you do it for me. Whoa, well played. I'm next level, <laughs> bro. I like how in this episode, Glimmer finally feels like a legitimate part of the crew. All the ambivalence towards her is gone, and she's not constantly spouting horse remorse. She's just another part of this jambalaya of neurosis that is the main cast. That's a decent point. 
So, meanwhile, Kristen oh, is Did realizing I that Oliver Tulpa got audio for a second? people, and she's like, hey, stop being a bunch of pathetic assholes. Takes one to make one. God damn it, why don't you respect me? Because we're just parts of you, and you hate yourself? I don't hate myself, I hate Starlight Glimmer. Uh, let me see, we got Fluttershy, Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and me. Technically, you're the Starlight Glimmer of the group. You know what? I hate you. Oh, snap. Exactly. Uh, fantastic. Uh, 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 fantastic. Twilight, stop whining. Holy shit. Everybody's getting lost and mixed up and you're like, huh, oh, my retreat is off to a great start. Shut the fuck up. If you're gonna bitch, at least make it entertaining like Rarity does. Nobody wants to hear you passive aggressively pissing and moaning under your breath. Jesus Christ, these little horses, man. You know, it's been so many years and I've spent so many hours with these characters that they... I didn't mind seeing like Twilight like that. Family members Twilight at is this best point, point. And every time I so. watch an episode, I end up arguing with at least one of them. Then again, I can't really say shit. Imagine what it's like to be Twilight Sparkle. And I don't mean like, ooh, I'm a pretty pony. That's my fetish, you fucking degenerates. I mean, think about what it would mean to live her <laughs> life. Just a minute ago, you were this snippy, antisocial nerd girl working your way through Celestia's pony college, humping books from morning till dawn, and now, only a few years later, you are your entire nation's only competent ruler, as well as the leader of its primary Never. defense force, which is comprised of this group of chicks Starlight. who, despite being like family to you are undeniably a bunch of crazy cunts. At least once a year for going on a decade now, the world has nearly ended, often putting said friends in mortal danger and leaving it solely to you to rescue them and everyone else. Basically, there was one time it didn't all fall on your shoulders and you spent that day in a bucket full of changeling jizz. Now it's the current year and not only do you have two personal protégés to keep track of, you're running an entire school that might start a war if you fuck it up. You have to be a ruler, a soldier, a teacher, and a role model all at the same time while staying sane enough to maintain these interpersonal relationships that have given your life meaning. Yeah, when you put it so like yeah, that. Never mind, I'm, I'm full of shit. Twiggy, if you want to complain, uh, you're entitled to it more than literally anyone else in the world. Anyway, got off time. There you go. So, Chrissy finally gets her shit what together, the hell was that finds picture? the elements, and as usual, realizes just a moment too late that she fucked up. See, as we all know these fucking things exist to protect Equestria and nothing is more paramount to its security and prosperity than producing the choicest highest quality cutie pies. So of course the elements are imbued with waifu Horse quality spike. control magic. As soon as the bootlegs get within range they get turned into magic goo and then wood comes out. Usually you get the wood <laughs> first and then the magic goo comes out but whatever, suspension of disbelief. Also, yeah. who fucking cares that they changed it from the leaked version? Stop getting mad about everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have seen that. I'm, I'm talking to you. Stop getting mad about every fucking thing. Just enjoy the show for once. Jesus fucking Christ. So You're one to talk, dude. Their campsite and it's all fucked up, but they're just like, man, nah, that sucks, but whatevs, and that's what this all amounted to. Chrissy, can Congratulations, you managed to moderately inconvenience your mortal enemy. You know, Bugaboo's always been my favorite villain in the and show, but it was mostly notice. because she had an awesome design and a very sexy voice. My dick has a lot of say in my opinions. But now, taken together with all her past appearances, this episode makes something very plain. Chrysalis is a fucking loser, and I love it. She's bitter, lonely, has no self-awareness, fucks up everything she tries to do and then blames it on I everyone I have said else. that. Chrissy, I love you, but you are like the villainy equivalent of an incel. God fucking help you, dude. <laughs> God fucking help you. No, 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 listen, that's not how evil plots work. There's got to be, like, machinations and subterfuge and shit, and then a big reveal where you're like, ha, ha, remember me? And then they go like, oh, no! And then you... <laughs> Broke character there. All right, so that was the totally legit recap of the main, of the main six. Uh, yeah. I will say this. He did touch on it a little bit as to what I've been saying about this particular episode and, uh, and Chrysalis in general. Uh, have you ever seen, like, the super cheesy Saturday morning cartoon villains, you know what I mean? Uh, 
that their plans always shoot, bite them in the ass, or they shoot themselves in the foot, or whatever turn of phrase you want to use, uh, she became this villain this time. She had this completely, totally elaborate plan that ended up failing because she didn't think it through, didn't do it right, uh, or, you know, <clears throat> or the tree ex machina did, or deus ex machina, tree ex machina did, uh, all of a sudden has the ability to do that. And that wasn't the last time the tree, if I'm using that phrase right, ex machina something. Uh, but all the same, there was one villain throughout the entire thing that I have said that completely and totally cut off all and sealed up all the loopholes, cut every possible route for the hero to just win easily. Uh, didn't shoot themselves in the foot. The hero had to get the villain to stop. And that was Starlight in the season five finale. She had the perfect plan. Unfortunately, all she could do was bring was bring Twilight to a stalemate. Uh, but yeah, the other heroes like there was another one closest after that. I believe would have been Tirek, where he won. But then, uh, of course, Deus Ex Machina, and there you freaking, and there you freaking go. Uh, but Chrysalis, unfortunately, keeps shooting herself in the foot. Like, if if you know what I mean by the whole uh, super villain that screws it up for themselves. Let's see, Canterlot Wedding. She became too full of herself, and. Um, of course, that was kind of similar to the uh, Tarek one. She kind of won that one and then turned her back, let them to their own devices, and baby boom, uh, love, magic, deus ex machina. Uh, <laughs> when she comes back and kidnaps all the major ponies and then leaves Starlight because, eh, who cares about a sidekick? Yeah, that one was the big one where she's like, what the hell were you thinking, Chrissy? Uh, and then this one. She was defeated and they never even knew she was there. Like, it was such a non-issue for them that it didn't even matter that she was there trying to kill them all or whatever. Uh, yeah, they kind of, in my opinion, did her wrong in this episode. I mean, it was cute, it was adorable, the scenes with her in it, uh, some of the scenes, it was good to see her back, even though she's not my favorite villain. She's entertaining. Uh, yeah, she's actually pretty far down the list as far as villains go to me. Second to last? Sombra, Chrissy. Sombra, oh, screw that guy. Never mind, uh, I've been rambling too long. I'm going to end this one here. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And until next time, take care. Bye.